Hi guys, it's Katie with Katie Dixon Photography, and in this video I'll be giving you a quick overview of the new InLight photo editing app for the iPhone. As far as I know, this is only for iPhone and is not available for Androids, and I'm not sure if they're going to make it available for Android platform in the future. So let's dive in. I'm just going to navigate to my photo and video folder on my iPhone 5S and swipe here to access the app. Now when you first open the app for the very first time, it's going to ask you for permission to access your photos and it'll also give you a nice little guided walkthrough. Um, but since I've been using it for a while, it just opens to the last thing that I was working on. Now, the Enlight website describes this app as an addictive and creative photographic experience. And they say that it's the only all-in-one iPhoneography app for creating masterpieces. I have to say, having played with it for a couple of weeks now, it has got a lot of features packed into this sucker. So first, let's go over kind of the layout and navigation, and then I'll kind of walk you through some of uh, the features that are, that are in here that are really cool, and I think you're really going to like them. So first, if we click on this little fox icon in the top left, it'll open the Enlight kind of app main page, where you can take another tour of the app and see different um, options that are within the app, where things are located, that sort of thing. So that's pretty handy. You've also got settings, maybe uh, set how what size JPEGs you want to save out of the app. Um, you can also adjust uh, how it saves sessions and presets uh, and all sorts of things within the settings menu. You've got the about section and then you've got your rate and review section where they want you to go to the app store and rate the app. So back to the main screen, next to the Fox icon here we've got our camera app where basically if I click that it opens the camera and allows you to take pictures within, um, within the app. It's a pretty bare bones camera, it really only allows you to take pictures. You do have some flash control and you can um, take selfies by turning it around and I'm going to get out of that. Now to get back to the main screen, right underneath here you've got a little bar and if you swipe down it'll take you back to the main screen. And once we're back here, next we've got our little kind of share icon where you can save photos back to your camera roll, you can send them in a mail message, uh, you can Instagram, Facebook tweet them, you can do, you can open them in other apps, that sort of thing. And this little three bar icon on the very far right opens our menu bar where we have all of our um, tool options. Then along the bottom of the screen we have our what they call the photo drawer and it does kind of work like a drawer so you've got um, just all of your photos here in line but if you want to see more of your photos or access a different album you just grab this tab and you pull up and it will open up uh, all of, you can see all of your albums, you can access your full camera roll. Um, pretty, pretty cool stuff. So I'm just going to come back to this folder where I was. I've saved some kind of like working images in here. And um, we'll start going through some of the tools. So here in our Canvas tool, we have got our crop tool skew tool and a refit tool. Cropping should be pretty self-explanatory so I'm going to skip that one for now and just show you the skew and refit tools. So skew works really well on photos like this of buildings um, and to make any adjustments within the tool basically you have all of your options here along the bottom. So I'm going to click on this vertical option and you'll see that it's activated because it's turned that blue color. And then to make the adjustment, all you have to do is swipe across the image, either left or right. And I'm just going to try and make those verticals straight up and down. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to hit the check mark up here in the upper right to apply that. That's going to get applied to the image. And there we go. Now this next tool, the refit tool, 
is a new one and I haven't really seen it anywhere else um, but it's pretty interesting and the way that it works is you take this little freeze paintbrush which is already activated and you basically paint a freezing mask over portions of the uh, image that you don't want to be affected now this tool works best with images that have like some swaths of kind of pretty empty space uh, so I'm just kind of painting it over the buildings and then I'm gonna click on this horizontal option here in the middle and I'm just gonna swipe to kind of bring those buildings closer together and uh, make that vanishing point look a little bit more um, dramatic and then I'm just gonna click to apply that so that's the refit tool next up are our image tools and this is where you're gonna find your basic image adjustments um, and that sort of thing so if I go into uh, I'm just gonna come and select another photo here so I'm gonna come into this adjust tool and you'll see that there are some presets that it's giving me that I can then go through and select um, now these are pretty much exposure and kind of color presets these aren't necessarily full-on filters like you'll see later on in the app so I'm just gonna kind of select one of these um, and or not I think it might actually not just go back to the neutral option now next to the presets here along the bottom if I click on tools I have you know more of my um, regular options here for exposure brightness that sort of thing um, color details you can do split toning you've actually got curves here where you can um, work with curves which is pretty neat for a, a photo editing app um, I haven't played too much with it but I really kind of like that they've included it you can also go in and adjust specific like color channels um, and that is that's a little crazy and a pretty advanced feature um, so that's cool uh, the other really neat thing about um, adjusting and the image adjustments that are available is this target option so if I click on target and then I select a target I'm actually going to put it on her face because I want to brighten up her face and then you'll see where it's red is where that um, any adjustment that you make is going to be applied you can increase or decrease the size of that circle and you can increase or decrease um, the feather just by kind of like pinching and zooming there and I'm going to select exposure and then swipe to apply that just to her face which I love that you can do this um, so it's kind of like Snapseed and they have built that into this app which is really smart um, so those are your image adjustments then you've got filters where you find your kind of Instagram like filters under the analog tab are all of your kind of color filters and again if you go through you can increase or decrease um, the effect just to kind of suit your style um, and there I mean there are some really neat ones in here there are a lot there are a lot of them uh, you also can go in and fine-tune them with your tools you can add you know a vignette you can add a light leak you can add borders to your photos um, so they've given you a lot of adjustments you've also got a black and white adjustment and this duo adjustment which is new this basically takes a two-toned gradient and applies it to your photo and you've got all these different kind of color options um, this is like a linear one that they've created but you can change that um, by coming in and maybe selecting radial so say you want the center of this to be yellow and the rest to be kind of like this cool blue um, you can also go in and, and adjust the color uh, and select maybe a different color for um, for the center so maybe I want it to go like really pink I can make it do that which is I don't know why I'd want to do that but you can so that's uh, a new tool that's kind of available under the tools menu up next are our um, mixer tool the reshape tool and the tilt shift tool the tilt shift you should be pretty familiar with from Instagram it basically will give you like some interesting blur effects so I'm going to skip that 
and kind of show you what the mixer tool and the reshape tool does. First, since I'm kind of already in this image, um, I'm going to select the reshape tool. And this allows you to really kind of liquefy and physically kind of manipulate the shapes in the image. Um, also, cool trick in this, in this app, uh, where it says reshape and it's got that downward kind of carrot, if I click and swipe that, it'll pull down a little brief overview within the app of what that particular tool does. Um, so it's just kind of showing what you have available to you and you can close out of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make her look like a bobblehead. I'm going to select the bloat tool here and I'm going to pinch and, or I'm going to pull out her face here. And then I'm going to come and select this um, contour tool and kind of swipe her body in to make it like teeny tiny. So there are some really neat things that you can do with this. Um, I'm not sure if the adjustments are fine enough to where you could do um, legitimate kind of liquefy, you know, make people skinny kind of stuff without it looking really ridiculous. But I think it, I think it's really fun to play with. So next you've got your mixer tool, uh, which I'm just going to grab some different photos to sh kind of show that off. Um, in light has actually included some demo photos with the app. So I'm just going to um, choose some of the demo photos that they've already included. Uh, I'm going to go here and you can see I've actually already done this to kind of test it out. So I'll sh show you how we get here to this effect. I'm just going to clear it by going to delete session. So this is the photo that they included and I'm going to blend it with this photo of the trees over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the mixer tool and then I'm going to select this tree tool and pinch and I'm just going to zoom and kind of reposition these trees. Um, and then I will go to tools here at the bottom and select blending. And I'm just going to kind of click through until I find one that looks really neat with these images. So if you're familiar with Photoshop, you will actually recognize some of these blend modes. Um, and of course, different photos combined together are going to give you different effects. So just click through until one speaks to you. Um, and I really like this kind of overlay mode. Um, and I'm going to go back to my tools here. And I'm going to use this erase feature and I'm going to change the strength so that it's a little bit softer. Go back to erase and I'm just going to paint away some of that transition over her face. There's not like branches in her eye or um, along her skin and mouth. And by choose it by adjusting that strength, it's going to be a really soft adjustment. So it's not going to leave me with harsh lines. Um, yeah, so that looks pretty cool. And you can do a lot of um, kind of double exposure or image blending with this mixer tool and it's really neat. So next up we've got some artistic um, options for image editing. You've got a painting, you've got urban, and you've got sketch. So painting and sketch are pretty self-explanatory. You can make things look like paintings or like sketches with different presets. And of course you'll have like preset options and tools. You can also mask stuff out uh, within each of these. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna close out of that and show you this urban one, which I think is the most different um, and something that I've not really seen before. So you can click on these presets, which do really interesting things with high contrast images that you might want to blend. And again, swipe left or right to increase or decrease um, the effect. And in this case, the, the kind of detail. And you can get some really interesting stuff here. Like, it's really cool. I really like it. Next, we have got brushes. So we can uh, write on our images with our brush tool. Um, we can, um, I don't know, we can give her little cat ears if we want to, a little cat nose. Oh, that is so sad looking. It undo feature is really handy here. What if I want to give her whisker? Can I zoom in? Oh, I can zoom in. So now I can get really fine. Give her some whiskers. Yeah. 
So there's my little cat girl doodle. I'm going to close out of that. Uh, they've also got these effects brushes um, where you can kind of paint in some bokeh effects. Like, so say I want some, like, dreamy star stuff going on here. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, and you've got different effects that you can do with that. You can also add type. Um, so you can actually um, write your own caption. Choose from all of these different fonts. And there are a lot of fonts. A lot of fonts. So do a lot of different things. You can change the color, you can add a drop shadow. Again, you can do some blending. You can actually transform the type once you've kind of done it. Um, you can mask it in and out to kind of fade it in and out. And we have also got some decal options here. They don't have very many. And the ones that they have included are a little cheesy. I'm not sure if they will maybe allow you to purchase additional ones at some point. These are the ones they've got included and yeah so that's what you got to work with. Interesting there with the details. You can also turn things into a meme. Um, if you guys are familiar with memes that's also built into this app. So they've really they have packed this thing. The last thing that they allow you to do um, is under this kind of finalize tab so we can add um, borders to our photos do all kinds of things. Uh, again, mask, you can edit them, um, change the colors, change the opacity. It's really robust. Uh, we can also add frames. Um, they've got different like shape frames. They've got um, little doodle frames if you go farther back where you can really kind of ones for the seasons. I don't know, really interesting kind of options available. You can also uh, size things for Instagram. So turn a portrait photo into a, into a square and you can change the border color. You can add border patterns. You also have a collage option. So you can put multiple photos together like in Diptych or Maldive, which is an app that I've talked about before in one of my classes. Um, and they've got some really kind of creative templates here in the collage option, which I think is fun. So I like that they've in that included that as well into the app. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this basic overview of the Enlight app and its features. You can find the app in the Apple App Store and it's $3.99. Overall, I think this is a great app and it really is an all-in-one photo app. As you can see, they have put so many features and so many really high-end tools into this one little app that $3.99 seems like chump change for what you're getting. And if you're looking for one great app to kind of rule them all, I would suggest purchasing this one. I think it's a great choice. That said, because it is so packed full of features and goodness, it does take a little while to figure out where everything is and how to use all the tools. But the more you play with it, the easier it gets. And there are some really nice features. The Mixer tool in and of itself pretty much sold me. And it's totally worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope to make app reviews a regular thing on this channel. So if you have any apps that you'd like to have reviewed, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And if there are any apps that you really love using and you want to share, leave those down below too. I'm always looking for new, fun, really interesting photo apps to have on my iPhone, especially for my iPhoneography class that I teach. I'm always looking for new great things, so drop those in the comments below as well. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on new videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.